Welcome to Math with Jerdy. This is Southwest 212, and I know why you're here. You're looking for a chance to get extra credit on your test. There is a third equation for a line. It's called point-slope form. This is what it looks like. It looks pretty crazy, but I'm going to show you how simple it really is. If you have a point and a slope, you could use that to write the equation. So here's the slope and here's the point. Let me show you how that works. Wherever there's a y1, an m, or an x1, well, this is your x value. This is your y value. I'm just simply going to plug those in. So that would be y minus, and my y value is 5. That was y minus y. y minus the y value I have equals m. Well, I know m is negative 3 parentheses, x minus the x value we have. So x minus minus 2. Because it was negative and it's subtracting, so I'll rewrite it, making that in here into a plus. That is the other equation for a line. That's all you need to know. I'll go to the next one real quick and do one more, just so you see. So plugging this slope and this point into point slope form. Remember I'm plugging in my y value, my m, and my x value. So that's y minus minus 8 right there equals my m, which is 2 over 5. And then x minus my x value, my x value is 3. And there we go. The question for the test will ask you, here's an equation, let's say like this. y minus 5 equals 4x plus 3. And it's going to say, what is the slope and what is the y-intercept? You'll need to know, hey, the slope's right there. It's 4. And you can get your coordinate point from the y value right here. But it's going to be the opposite of that positive that, and the opposite of this. My x is negative that. That is the slope and the point from this equation. Over and out.